tunnels down through the gravel like it's nothing. He just shoves one arm down there and no problem. Just kind of bullies all of the rocks away. I just threw a shrimp into the uh, into the aquarium. I don't see him at the moment. I'm trying to hold my iPhone steady on him. But the octopus clearly smells the shrimp. And he's exhibiting hunting behavior. This is interesting because in the wild, this octopus probably sifts through the sand looking for all the weird critters that, uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. He, he burrowed straight through the sand, through the gravel, and he is going to squish his way underneath to the underbed filter. I bet you anything. I bet he tries to make an escape. This is going to be an awesome example of just how incredibly just clay-like octopuses are. They can squeeze themselves through the, the skinniest little holes. And it, it's not like Plastic Man. It's not like they, they shape their body and then go through. They kind of throw a couple arms through and then they force their body through. It's, it's more like forcing Play-Doh through one of those, those little Play-Doh toys that we all played with when we were kids. Look at that. There he goes. There he, you just saw him. You saw him dig down with one arm straight through the gravel. He reached underneath. There's a plastic layer between the gravel and the, uh, and the big cobbly stuff underneath. And he just kind of moved through there like living silly putty. Now he's still got an arm above the surface. And that's interesting because that, that's kind of like a feeler. You know, he's holding on to a piece of discarded shrimp shell from another meal that I really should have taken out of the tank. But uh, he knows there's prey in the tank. And I'm hoping he knows that because every time I catch him outside his burrow, I feed him. But he's still very, very shy. He can't stand to be seen. Now look, he's, I don't know if you can see it with the video, but he is crammed up in the uh, cobblestones underneath. And like I said before, he... Those cobblestones make up the main biological filtration of this tank. And that little octopus, he can just walk right through there like it's his own personal little Bruce Wayne mansion. No problem at all. He goes wherever he wants, almost completely unimpeded. This end, this end used to be flush with the, with the edge of the tank, but now it's... It's generally been the main entrance and exit. But what you just witnessed is, uh, because he's so pliable, I, he can just come and go whenever he goes, whenever he wants. So uh, that was a neat little piece of octopus behavior. I was hoping to get him catching a shrimp, but uh, we still got some good stuff. And uh, this creasel tank, that's... Not really a big tank, it's just a five gallon job. This is a very small octopus. His head is about the size of an acorn. And, uh, well, he's gone now. I, I hope you thought that was a cool video, so I'm signing off now. Five minutes is enough for, uh, for a little bully. See you!